Hi everyone, it's Rayleigh and I'm joined with my friend Holly. Hi, and today we're going to be answering your questions about GCSEs. On my Instagram, I put up a question box on my story which gave everyone the option to write down some questions they have about GCSEs and we've compiled them all together into sections. The first thing we're going to be talking about is choosing our GCSE options, which we both did in Year 9. Even though we chose our options in Year 9, yeah. we started studying in Year 10, so um, our course lasted two years. Yes. In our school we had the option to either take the sciences separately as three separate GCSEs or together and we both picked to take separate science. I also picked to take art, media studies and geography. So I chose separate science like Rayleigh, French, art and sports studies which is not an actual GCSE, it's a Cambridge National Certificate yeah. but it's an equivalent. I also took further maths. That wasn't compulsory but a lot of people took it if they were really good at maths. Thank you. Question number one. How do you choose your GCSE options? My best advice for choosing GCSEs is choose a subject that you think you're going to enjoy over a subject you think will get you a good job. If you're good at something, it's kind of not easy, but it's a lot easier. One thing that you shouldn't do is choose a subject because your friends are doing it or because you like the teachers. Because, because as much as having a good teacher makes a difference, you might get the, a different teacher. Yeah. Question number two. Are GCSEs as hard as everyone says they are? I think one thing that definitely makes it harder is the stress that you'll put into it and the amount you procrastinate. I am 100% guilty of procrastinating for things but as I got to the end of my GCSE course I kind of stopped caring about getting good grades in a lot of subjects and started caring about passing them more and getting better grades than the ones I enjoyed and that made so much difference to me because when I took that stress off it gave me more mental space to revise. And if you enjoy a subject you're going to spend more time revising it yeah. and then you're going to be better at it as well. Yeah. So the answer to the question is no GCSEs are not as hard as everyone says you are, says they are, as long as you approach them with a more relaxed And as long mentality. as you enjoy them as well. Yeah. Is art really that hard and does it take up a lot of time like everyone else says? This question depends on how you approach it. So for me, I found art quite easy, partially because I enjoyed it, but predominantly because I understood the course from the beginning and I knew how much I had to do from the beginning and that made such a difference. So for all courses in general, all of your GCSEs, make sure you know the course from the beginning make sure you know what you've got to do for it because you will have so much less stress yeah make sure you know like how many different drawings and things like that you need to yeah. do i didn't know what we yeah. were supposed to do for art until october or something of year 11 and i didn't enjoy it at all it was just so pressured and time consuming i think i spent almost every day after school in the art rooms i did enjoy art but it was always more difficult for me because Rayleigh enjoys it yeah as well as she's really good at it and then she also understood the course which oh. does make a difference yeah you make sure you know your course yeah make sure you know the courses <laughs> If you took media studies, which Rayleigh did, how was it and what was it mostly based on? Media studies was a subject I really enjoyed because it was essay based and I like writing essays. And I also liked it because the actual curriculum of it involved analysing pieces of media, as it says in the name. But it involved analysing it based on subjects that I really enjoy analysing and writing about. You basically get pieces of media and then write about everything that is politically wrong with them. And I enjoyed that. <laughs> Okay, so the next question is about someone who is going into year 9 and they want some tips for their GCSEs because they feel like it's just getting closer and closer. Looking back on it, I was the same. I was quite panicky from the beginning. I can't tell you not to panic or worry about it, but I can say that now I've gone through my GCSEs and I'm looking back on the experience, there was absolutely no need to worry. I was the same as well as you and this this person. Yeah. It's brought up as such a big thing. <laughs> it is. That it, comes all in one big go but you actually have lots of time that you yeah. can spread like it's, it's two years yeah that's absolutely ages so that's like years. 700 and something days right <laughs> no <it's> maths <laughs> <laughs> Section three, and this one is on GCSE coursework and any tips and advice that we both have in general for managing your GCSEs as you're studying them. So the actual things that you will have your information in will likely be school books 
And one thing I would recommend about that is that those books that you get given in the beginning of the year and fill up and then get new books for each lesson, they will be your main revision tool. So when you're writing stuff down, make sure you'll be able to understand it in a year's time. External resources that we were told to use were Seneca, My Maths, Tassamaya for Science, or anything I think, Tassamaya mm. is, Linguoscope, and Memorize. Memorize. For French. My favourite ones were the science ones. I really liked Seneca because I liked the explanations on it, but more than Seneca, I liked Tassamaya because it like properly recapped. And it gives you like day-to-day -day goals. <sighs> Question one. What what books do you recommend are the best for studying? Our school gave us these books in the beginning of the year. So these are specific for our exam board, which, is a, which was AQA, because we took separate, so we had mm -hmm. separate books for them. People who take combined got one book with all three sides. Yeah. And these books were good in particular because they're sectioned, which made it a particularly good one. And it'll have the module subject. Yeah, and you can take them off. Any study tips you recommend for going into year 10? I would say in general, once you learn something in a lesson, make sure you understand it. Recap occasionally, just make sure you know that the work you're doing in lesson is revision. Any tips on staying stress-free? Like I said in the last question, I think the easiest way to eliminate most of the stress is to know your course. You feel a lot more in control. Is it better to work all day, like seven to eight hours, trying to get all the info into your brain or not? Do not do this. Don't do that. And I think a way to get around that and to still feel in control of your work and like you're constantly recapping stuff is to make a revision timetable, like a weekly revision timetable. And this is working towards the exams in those two years, not the time before, because you do want to do a bit more revision then. So every night have like 10 minutes for one subject and that will build up and you'll gain so much from that, so much more from that than seven hours a day. Do your GCSEs or did they take over your life? No. And I think this is something everyone thinks. You go to school, you do your work, and you give yourself space to not think about them, because if you don't, then you just crash. Have you got any tips for time management? I'm really bad at time management. Yeah. <laughs> Generally, time management is something a lot of people struggle with. I know I do, I know Holly does. But I think one of the biggest tips that I have is, like I've said before, don't put too much in one place and do things small like do small activities and complete those one at a time try hard in your lessons study a little bit and revise yeah. a little bit over the whole two years then you won't have to cram so tips of time management spread it Tips for starting year 11. So at the beginning of year 11, you need to make sure that you're organized, but you don't need everything straight away no. because you've still got a while until your exams. You also may find yourself stressing more because you're closer to your exams and it becomes a bit daunting. You don't need to. So you've got months and you've yeah. got mocks and things before that. So the actual exam for each subject works differently depending on the subject. For example, the art GCSE is predominantly coursework. Sports studies and Cambridge National certificates like that are exam based and coursework based. But exams like English are just written. Do you have any tips to help stop stressing about your GCSE? But I think one thing that definitely helped me stop stressing is to organise my time and visualise it in front of me. So I came out of a revision timetable and I made that timetable based on when I knew my exams were and the dates of it. So that's something I recommend doing just by default. Yeah, because in normal years, I think you get maybe like two a day yeah. every three days or something. So you have space in between. Yeah, and it's also important to note that a lot of your lessons become exam revision periods because they become free periods. Yeah, once you've finished all of the course, yeah. they just give you revision on what either the class in total needs help with or what you personally need help with. What was the best way that you were used to revise? When I did my revision, I revised with other people. So I'm gonna use English as an example. I made flashcards on a quote. I kind of categorized it and stuff, but then I would get mm. my mum to hold the flashcard and then I'd tell her the quote on there and stuff. I think this depends on- Subject. Subject yeah. and yourself as well, because I am absolutely useless when I try and revise with other people. I just don't do any work. I think you really need to work out what works for you. We both approach it differently and we both came out of it happy with our results. Best tips to revise for chemistry, physics and biology GCSE. So the teachers actually gave us some resources and things which helped a lot because then in the lesson you could do the revision or you could take it home with you. When I did my sciences I really struggled with them towards the middle of year 10 I think and around that time it had kind of like Covid had hit and stuff so my parents got me a tutor and in that tutor every week 
I would do practice papers. And those practice papers were so good. So I would recommend doing practice papers because when I got into my exam, I opened the paper and I had already done almost every question in there at some point. So mm. I knew how to approach it. I knew what got me marks and I understood all the questions by default. The other thing is if you're revising and you're going through past papers, it's really good to do only three or four where you actually do them open book. So you can look at your notes because then it helps you know what you yeah. what you should write, how you should word it and things. Yeah, and like I said, I was revising with someone else, whether it be a tutor or my parents, but that might not work for everyone, like it doesn't work for Holly. No. Do you use your own supplies in an exam? So for your actual exams, you need a clear pencil case, mm -hmm. a clear water bottle, you need a calculator, maths equipment, exam. a blue or black pen. You will learn all of this, your teachers will specify this before the exam though. Holly and me took our exams at a time when COVID was really, really at large and affecting the school system. It still is now really, but at the time we were in and out of school, we were in and out of lockdowns and the whole years was really messy. I think we only actually had about maybe eight months of in school time. Yeah, and I think a lot of people did well, a lot of people didn't, and there were really mixed results about the GCSEs. We both came out of it with all of our GCSEs passed. I was happy with the grades I got, and I did well on the ones I wanted to do well on. Yeah, me too. I think I did quite well. I'm very proud of all of my, especially just passing them, yeah, because exactly. of how difficult it was. So, looking back on our GCSEs, question one is, what was the easiest subject? I think that the easiest subject might have been English, because I really enjoyed it. I used to hate English, but the teacher made me yeah. understand what it's actually about. I enjoyed English because we had a good teacher, so it made me feel confident. And I enjoyed art because just as a general subject, I like it. Do you regret taking any classes? I've thought about this a lot Very because much. of the like COVID and it being really stressful and things like that, which just adds on extra pressure for yeah. us. I do regret taking art, but at the same Ooh. time, because I, I loved art when I took it. Mm. Thinking about it though, I didn't have any other subjects other than yeah. the ones I took, which I enjoyed. So I wouldn't have done anything else, even if I yeah. wanted to. Yeah, that's my problem because I didn't enjoy geography that much. I thought I would, but I didn't. But if I really think about it, there weren't any other subjects that I would have rather taken. So I don't regret taking any lessons, but there are ones I didn't enjoy to the extent I thought I would. The next question is, did GCSE art make you lose your love for it? No, I like it more now I've done my GCSE. I got better at it. I found GCSE art really difficult, like I said earlier. Yeah. I didn't love it to start with, I just enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it a lot less because I just find it stressful. Time pressure and different yeah. categories which you have to fulfill and I just yeah. didn't. And I think what happened to you is, a lot of, is what a lot of people are worried will happen to them. Mm. So, I mean, it could go either way. <laughs> the next question is which subjects did you enjoy and which ones would you recommend? Art, media studies, English, although that's compulsory, isn't it? Mm. Those three, I really enjoyed and would recommend those three. But I liked a lot of the core subjects, but mm. I would say that separate science is really good to take. It gives you three separate grades. Did you do any higher or foundation papers? I took all higher. If you know that you're capable of getting more than a five, you should take higher. But if you don't know if you can get a five, you should take foundation just in case yeah. you can't reach the passing yeah. grade. I think I just took higher papers. I think you took higher. I think, yeah, I think I did take higher. <laughs> Last question. What was your favorite GCSE art piece? I really enjoyed my materials paintings because I did some paintings of bottles. I did like apples and stuff. So I got some one of apples there and there's one of bottles as well. Oh yeah. Moving forward from my GCSEs, I have picked my A-levels based off subjects I enjoy rather than subjects I think will get me good jobs. A lot of teachers will tell you, oh, you need to do what you think you want to do for a job. I, I don't know what I want to do for a job now. No, me neither. And I'm not going to know at the end of sixth form either, I don't think. Pick subjects that you enjoy because then by default, if you're going to get a job in those subjects, you're going to enjoy your job. What A-levels are you doing? I am taking the second level of sports studies, an A level equivalent English literature and maths and I might be taking French outside of school I am taking philosophy art and media studies as a levels 
I'm taking three. So that is all for this video. I really hope we've both answered enough of your questions and we've cleared a few things up and hopefully made you feel a bit less stressed about it because there are so many misconceptions about GCSEs. Yeah, hopefully we helped you out with your choices and just yeah. if you're between two subjects and things like that. We have two shout outs for this video. Shout out number one goes to this account on Instagram. I would say the name, but I don't want to absolutely butcher it. <laughs> but. Thank you so, so much for the fan edits. I really, really appreciate them, and so does Ruby. So thank you for that. The second shout out is to an account called Ruby and Rayleigh, who makes some amazing fan edits, which we all love to watch and enjoy. Yay, thank you. So that is it for this video. We really, really hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below on the comment section, which should still be up, any future suggestions for videos, any videos with Holly that you may want to see and any videos surrounding back to school because we're on that content at the moment. We really hope you've enjoyed this video. We love you. Bye. Bye. Can you remember that? Yeah. Can you remember that? What are you saying? Hi. No, <laughs> that's my part. Hi everyone, it's Rayleigh and today I'm with my friend Holly and today we're going to answer your questions about GCSEs. You said that so quickly. I know, I know. Hi everyone, it's Rayleigh and today I'm with my friend Holly. <laughs> Did GCSE are... Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> it's really stressing me out. It's oh. way worse than exams. <laughs> <laughs>